Hello and welcome. My name is Space Muffin and this is The Void Strategy. So today we're going to talk about Season 8, my thoughts, my opinions, um, and just kind of where the state of the game is right now. So Season 8 is introducing a new mini, the Dryad, part of the Scenarian family. I think this is good. Um, I do believe that, I don't know, it, it's like... We've kind of gotten a lot of Scenarian stuff, obviously, and I don't know if it's a good idea to just, you know, Season 6, 7, 8, all Scenarian stuff, so... But, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, let's look at the Dryad. Um, it's a Scenarian, obviously. Cost 4, Health 370, Damage 175, Physical with 1 stack of Poison, Element per hit, very nice. Uh, root Duration is 2 seconds. Its traits are Attack, Root, and Poison and fast so pretty good it's kind of like it kind of reminds me of the um the troll like the the, the spear you know so kind of kind of getting those vibes but in a dryad scenarian flavor so its attack is a single target range attack uh dryad throws her spear towards uh damaging the enemy rooting them and then applying poison so that's pretty good let's take a look at the talents so number one barrage Favor new targets when possible. Okay, that could be interesting. Kind of just, you just start poisoning and rooting people. So that could be interesting. Uh, nature swiftness, swiftness. Gain rapid movement speed uh, to an ally. So this could be good. So the movement speed could be good for um, Onu. You know, a lot of your slower moving units. That could be really, really good. In fact, that might, you know, I really like that talent. So... So the, the Scenarian theme where they help each other out, I really love that. Uh, next we have Thorns. Gain Thorns on kill, dealing damage back to melee attackers, stacks 10 times. Pretty interesting. That could be very useful. Um, so it's going to be excellent against bigger targets, um, such as the, you know, uh, Rock Golem, the, you know, things like that, the, um, the Lava Golem, that, that dude. I don't know how good it's going to be against things like the Abomination, because the Abomination has that ability where you can grab it. They can, it can just grab you and, you know, bring it towards you. Could could be useful. You know, cost four, a little pricey, but I think I think it's a pretty decent unit. You know, the fact that, you know, she can hit flying units and the fact that she can hit ground units, pretty useful. Uh, as far as the character model, I love the character model. You know, I think we need more. These kind of, you know, she's got attitude, a little bit of sass. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool character design. So, the main thing that I, that I really like in this season is the three new maps that we're getting. It's like we're in desperate need of new maps. So, these look pretty cool, especially this Rattlegore one. So, yeah, Rattlegore, I wish it would, like, load up. It's not loading up the picture, but let's see. Yeah, there we go. So, like, this one looks pretty cool. Pretty straightforward, but it just looks cool. Of course, we have our Dark Master Grandling. I'll get, I'll pull that picture up real quick here. But I don't know. This season, like we're getting three new maps, one new unit. Um, not as sparse as other seasons, but obviously not as fruitful as the you know season seven. But overall, I'm pretty, I'm pretty cool with it. You know, I mean, we get, we get a couple new grid things, new um, emotes. So as far as the state of this game is concerned, I mean. I think we're in a good state with the new Scenarian minis, but it's kind of hard to keep up the momentum each month, if that makes any sense. It's hard to have those massive seasons, and it's hard to, you know, really keep that momentum going. So, things that I would like to see, I would like to see us have the ability to do the Siege content and the, uh, like, the Ragnaros content. I would like us to, to not be bound to the guild. There should be a matchmaking system that lets us have a little bit easier of a time doing those those events and things like that. Because I still, to this day, have not been able to really efficiently and effectively do that content. So I would like to see like a matchmaking system for the sieges and the raids. That would be really great. That's number one. Um, number two, I would like to see the guild system just improved in general. I would like to see it just easier and better to join guilds and to recruit people. And the other thing I would like to see is instead of them just doing, and I understand, like with season seven, they did all those minis, but I would like to see at least two minis per season. You know what I mean? Just a, just standard, two minis per season. And 
you know, we don't need any new families, but just really like adding on to the families that we have and maybe some more tribal type units, units that like only affect um, undead or only affect alliance, just to kind of give people that that synergy, you know, where the where those units can synergize with itself or at least like tribal talents, right? Like, you know, you can choose a talent like, hey, like this affects all your undead and horde units or something like that. Like that, that would be really fun for me to see. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think um, in the comments below. I'm, I'm really curious to see what you guys think of this new, um, this new season, the new units. Is it too sparse? Is it just like, hey, this is going to be 30 minutes worth of content? And then we just kind of move on. Like, what what are your thoughts on season eight? I understand there are some minor PvP changes. You know, we'll be able to see those, but it looks like just a lot of the standard kind of stuff. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys in the next video.